Hey guys, I'm Alexi and we're kicking it old school yet again with Mega Cat Studios. This time we're taking a gander at a sweet port to the Nintendo Switch, an absolute classic, Quest for Infamy. Because it was first released on PC in 2014, there might be a few graphical things you'll have to adjust to, like its title screen. But once you get past it and jump straight into the game, it's nothing but a sweet nostalgic trip. You take the role of Rome, a young adventurer whose story unfolds based on the decisions you'll make as you play the game. If you're a huge fan of games like Secret of Monkey Island, Gabriel Knight, and King's Quest, then this one will definitely be a treat. Quest for Infamy is your classic point and click adventure that pulls you into a beautiful world of magic and mystery. There's much to do, a lot to read, and different paths to take. As Rome, you can choose to be a brigand and focus more on straight up fighting, a sneaky deceptive rogue, or a powerful sorcerer. Having different roles to choose from adds a level of replayability with all the different approaches you can take in completing the game. This also gives you the option to change your story in each playthrough, choosing between a clear path to glory or a dark path towards infamy, just like in the title. With a fair number of puzzles, a turn-based combat system, and a soundtrack that truly suits the world you'll be running around in, this is still a really good port. Instead of looking at this as a complete remaster, consider it a great way to have easy access to a game that you could only play on your chunky old computer half a decade ago. All in all, this is definitely a breath of fresh air at a time that just pummels you to the ground with newer, shinier games. So, are you into point and click titles? Do you think Quest for Infamy is worth trying out or going back to? Let us know. Again, this is Alex, and you can check back here for more.